It is Monday, January 11th, 2010. We've reached the halfway point in the syndicated radio broadcast. We're here live, noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. We simulcast the last two hours, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern at PrisonPlanet.tv. We are live there as well. So last Thursday, Bloomberg drops this bombshell. Give me a document shot on that. Geithner... Geithner's Fed told AIG to limit swaps disclosure. Now, we know Geithner and Paulson and Bernanke and others are all on record, are on record over and over and over and over again saying they will not tell you where the money went and who got the money. Once they went into holding banks, the French, the German, the British, the Dutch, the U.S., the Canadian, and others. The money we know was paid in massive bonuses and served out. But the private Federal Reserve, the holding company, and the governmental Treasury Department, on record, will not say where the money went. But it later came out, it was given to the very people running the government that were taking the bailout money. Now, Geithner was the head of the most important part of the Federal Reserve, the New York Fed, in the fall and winter of 2008, and that's in Bloomberg. And he has now gotten in a lot of trouble because internal documents and emails have been released where AIG, one of the big holding companies they use for plausible deniability to divvy out the money to themselves, it's come out that the New York Fed told them, do not let this be public. And we separately have Geithner on TV saying don't let it be public. Now Geithner says he didn't know anything about that. Plausible deniability. That is more evidence of fraud when on record he will not let people know and will never talk about it and says, I won't tell you. So the issue here is this is crime. This is illegal, as Judge Napolitano and Ed Schultz and many others on the left and right have pointed out. And it's bipartisan. It goes across party lines and shows how the banking dictatorship is the real problem. It appears that the New York Fed deliberately pressured AIG to restrict. Guys, give me a document cam shot. It appears that the New York Fed deliberately pressured AIG to restrict and delay the disclosure of important information, said ISSA, a California Republican. Taxpayers deserve full and complete disclosure under our nation's security laws, not the beholding of politically inconvenient information. Geithner had no role. They're saying Secretary Geithner played no role in these decisions, Meg Riley, a Treasury spokeswoman, said in an email. He was recused from working on the involvement, even though he was the head. He gave the orders. Involved specific companies, including AIG, after his nomination for Treasury Secretary November 24, 2008. Geithner began to insulate himself weeks earlier in anticipation of his nomination. So they take over the government, take over the private fellow reserve, run the scam. We have Goldman Sachs' own documents. He used to work for him. Paulson was in the Treasury Department, former head of Goldman Sachs, setting up this fraud. We have their internal documents from the McClatchy newspapers that got them. They're setting all this up, and then he says, oh, I'm going to get the money, and then once I'm in government, I'm going to continue the robbery. But... I don't have any decision-making in this, even though he runs the Treasury and the New York Fed, the most powerful branch of the Fed. Geithner, who was tapped by President Barack Obama, took the Treasury job in January 2009. Mark Hare, a spokesman for the New York base AIG, declined to comment. So the New York Fed ordered the cripple insurer not to negotiate for discounts and settling the swaps. So you have Paulson at the Treasury, and then it continued with Geithner, the Goldman Sachs hood, thug, henchman in Treasury. they got to keep their people in. Continuing, <clears throat> ordering, this is another key, ordering government policy. They're setting government policy to pay 100 cents on the dollar on these fraudulent derivatives they made up out of nothing. Credit default swaps, insuring it, other systems. So they set up the insurance policy. They know it's a scam. They burn the building down and collect money off of it. They clearly are involved. They ran the operation. And this is the key. And they set policy for 100 cents on the dollar. This is criminal. These people are criminals.